Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Juliet Huck on the line, and she's founder of the Academy of Persuasion and author of The Equation of Persuasion and also 50 Ways to Get Your Way. Juliet, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. So with book titles like that, The Equation of Persuasion, 50 Ways to Get Your Way, I'm like, you sound like a woman that's used to getting her way. <laughs> well, I work I work at it, that's for sure. <laughs> definitely work at it. It's a process. It's definitely that's a process. Awesome. So let's uh, let's just jump right in. Um let's get into the Academy of Persuasion. Tell us a little bit more about the Academy, please. Yeah, you know, this has actually kind of been a passion project of mine. Um I have been a consultant, uh, a persuasion strategist for almost twenty five years now in the litigation world. And I've always thought that I have gained all this experience uh, going to trial with my clients, sales uh, opportunities, uh, large Fortune 500, being in front of Fortune 500 company executives. And I just thought, gosh, these younger people might want to learn what I've learned. Um, so I uh, had this idea for a long time. It took me quite a few years to get this off the ground. But I, you know, have written some books, and I, like I said, I've been consulting for over 25 years. So I thought, well, why not do an e-learning uh, academy as well as group training and start to get my experience out to others that uh, can learn from my either my mistakes or or, or my great successes. So this is that's how it was born. Man, I love that, and uh, you're never easy to put together an academy or anything like that, but it's so so vital. So some the whole point is that somebody can learn some of the things that took you, you know, you know, decades to learn in your career um, faster because you have it distilled into something in bite-sized chunks that they can, you know, consume as they as they go along. Tell us a little bit more about the the kind of the nuts and the bolts of the academy, so that people that are are listening to this right now, interested in going through it, can kind of know what to expect. So right now we have one course that's up. Um, we just launched the first course uh, about well, not quite a week ago, and it is at the uh, academyofpersuasion.com. And the first course is based on the balancing the four elements of persuasion. Um, basically, what that's going to be is that it's going to be um, the main part of the formula that I feel is very important to be persuasive. So. Basically, you're going to have uh, be able to walk into the academy. The first, the intro is about seven minutes long. It's going to give you some really great information right up front for free, and then you get to decide from there if you want to take the course. It's a it's a one hour uh, course, 15 minute classes, uh, which create the hour. And then basically, what we're going to start doing from here is we're going to just start putting content together and either go with a subscription after we build a library, or we'll just keep offering the courses at a certain price. And then we're also going to be talking about um, group training that we can do live, individual training, um, whatever kind of thing that we can kind of try and put together for people that want to learn. So I'm really excited about that part of it. And then there's also a, some free downloads um, and some information that, you know, they can get right off the, right off the bat. That's awesome. Um, tell us a little bit more about the books. I, want, I do want to spend a little bit of our time on that also. So, so the equation of persuasion, how did that come about? Well, that came about after, uh, well, that actually came about in the downturn of the economy, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I started, I had a consultancy group in downtown Los Angeles for a very long time with quite a few employees. And um, I started to see the, the industry was changing along with the economy. And I thought, wow, I've worked on some really big cases like Enron, uh, large, ex uh, you know, billion dollar projects. And I thought, wow, some of this stuff really needs to be documented and archived. And what would be the best way to do that? So this is a very large book. It's a coffee table size book, uh, 230 some pages, but it's also extremely visual because I'm a huge believer that um, visual retention is what really drives a lot of information. So it's a four color book. It's more of a manual. It's um, not your average your coffee table book because you're going to learn something out of it versus just look at it. But it documents all these different graphics and processes and things that I've done over the years um, that have really helped secure billions of dollars in decisions for my clients. The wow, second that's book, amazing. 
And it looks oh, beautiful, by the way. So for everybody listening, it's a real, it's a big, like hard cover. Like obviously, this isn't like a, a flip through paperback. This is it's a beautiful book. Um, and oh, the second you. book, Fifty Fifty Ways to Get Your Way. Tell us a little bit more about that. And that one came out um, 2018. Yeah, yeah. That that's my little. That's another little <laughs> side passion project for me. Um, I just I, I thought the big book was so was a little more heavy. Um, I call this my little book with heart. Uh, it's literally just a small kind of pocket book you might find at the airport or some kind of gift store. And it's, it's another, it's a picture book, but it's photographs and lessons learned that, uh, I grew up on the farm with, <laughs> believe it or not, out in Ohio. And what I call, <clears throat> excuse, common sense values. And common sense values to me are things like empathy. Are you, are you able to listen? Um, do you have perseverance? So this is actually 50 ways to look at yourself before you look at, you know, going out to a potential client or potential employer. But how do you how do you look at yourself to be persuasive? Um, most people think it's about how you have to look at the person, you know, sitting in front of you. But I'm like, no, this is a book about reflection. Um, mm. So it's really a fun little book on just common sense things that I grew up with that, you know, my, my parents taught me that, you know, you just have to work harder. You have to listen to people. You have to be respectful. Things that I kind of think might be missing at times sometimes these days. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a fun little book to put together, but again, it's very visual and, uh, and a very short little read, which is was a lot of fun. Can you give us a story, uh, an example of a story, one of the stories from that book? Yeah. Um, let's see. I want, because I'm from Michigan, so I want to know one of these stories. I'm like, I, I love a good Mid Midwestern story. Take me home. Midwestern Take me stories? Home. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, well, um, actually, what's kind of funny is that um, one of the one of the uh, spreads in the book is about patience, which is not something I have a lot of. <laughs> and I actually, <laughs> you said which I, I learned from my own. <laughs> yes, it's a total self-reflection, right? For yourself, not myself, right? right? <laughs> I didn't say which self. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 50 ways to get my own way, right? <laughs> so in the, in the interim of that, um, there's a photograph of a man holding potatoes, and uh, which my father was a potato farmer. And I talk about the fact that do you really have the patience of what it takes to grow something? Um, if you have somebody in front of you, what what does that really mean to have the patience to not just walk in the door and expect everything right now, which is what our society kind of is, right? Um, so we basically, it's a way to really look at yourself that do you have the patience to put yourself in the shoes of your decision maker sitting in front of you? That's That's the golden rule to me of persuasion is can you get out of your own shoes? And get in the shoes of your decision maker because mm. that's really what it's all about. And there's where empathy comes in, patience, respect, um, and just a lot of lot of ways that you can look at yourself. But the story behind that is really um, that <laughs> my dad used to talk to us a lot of times in what I would always call uh, farm language. And um, he would say things like, you know, don't hold the nickel so close to your eye you can't see the quarter. And then he'd walk away. Oh, that's like, good. That's so <laughs> good. Like, that's what, what I wanted from about? you. I knew you. I knew you had it in you, and I was waiting. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. Oh man, so, that's yeah. so good. So that's that's the type of thing that um, that's how we were taught. And I always, you know, I, I always said I had a PhD in common sense because I had, I had uh, parents that really, you know, my dad wasn't a big talker, but when he said something, it was, you know, you really needed to kind of understand what he was talking about and. Lessons learned throughout my life and throughout my, um, you know, my my upbringing as a kid that you don't want to listen to your parents, but then you realize when you're actually uh, getting older that you can, you know, those lessons are there. So um, it's very important that, that that was kind of resonating for me to get out to other people. So there's a few of those what I call uh, farm philosophies in the back, back of this little book um, that, you know, we're, we're always told to like, oh, just go with the flow. And my dad's like, you don't go with the flow because dead fish go with the flow. So you need to be able to stand out. And <laughs> that's, like, that's the way you were talking. <laughs> Come on, Julia. That's really that's dead just so. schools me and the whole audience. We're like, what? Don't go with the flow because dead fish go with the flow and don't hold a nickel so close to your eye. You can't see the quarter. What? Mind blown. Gosh, your dad right? would have been amazing on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Just, just get yeah, right? on Twitter all day, dad. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god! About ten, ten pages in the back, but it's that's. But then I have little, little anecdotes and little things that I've said in the, in the base of all of these, uh, these um, pages that just give you little reminders of what you need to think about. 
Oh, I love it. Well, Juliet, um, I could talk to you about this all day long, but we're about out of time. If somebody's listening to this and they want more information on the Academy of Persuasion or on your books, what's the best way for them to reach out and to connect? Uh, the best way to reach out and connect is to uh, catch me at uh, Academy of Persuasion at Academy of Persuasion on Instagram and direct message me. The other way to get hold of me is to go to my LinkedIn page and send me a message through that. Um, we're in the in the process right now of setting up all email and everything else. It's just, it's so brand new that uh, we're getting all the technical stuff together. But that's really the best way. And then you can go on to uh, the Academy um, of Persuasion dot com and also set up a time to give us a call if you want to do group training or individual training or anything like that. So there's three or four Perfect. ways to get a hold of me, yeah, as well as the awesome. Facebook page of Academy of Persuasion Facebook page. Awesome. Well, hey, Juliet, really appreciate you coming on the show today. And uh, tell us more about your books and also about the Academy of Persuasion. I know a lot of people are going to benefit from that. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of fun. Hope you had a lot of fun listening to this because we had a lot of fun making this for you. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. Leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. And if you are, um, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there. But also, um, leave us some comments on the video. Love to continue the conversation there. And uh, hear what kind of stuff you're working on. And Juliet, thanks again for coming on the show.